What's Burr's strategy? How to utilize this strategy to make unlimited money in real estate investing? Namaskar, Adabar Se, Sashrikal, Vanakam, Good morning, good evening. This is Aditya. <laughs> I tr I'm trying for a new intro. <laughs> so, if you are new to my channel, welcome to my channel. If you haven't hit that red button, subscribe button, hit right now for an awesome content regarding my own real estate investing journey and realtor journey. So I made this video a few months ago explaining birth strategy of my own property. But many complained that the audio was not clear. So in this video, I'm going to explain the same concept, the same property, same numbers, but with a clear audio. So Burr is the only strategy in real estate investing that makes you the most returns of your money. So how I have applied this to my property and, and you know, how you can better use of this, make better use of this strategy for yourself. And I'm, I'm going to give you a clear explanation. You know, feel free to ask me if you have any questions in the comment below, because, you know, the more we interact, the better we can get at investing and the more money we can make together. So, you know, first of all, I'm going to explain you a, a abbreviation of Burr and then I'll get into the numbers. First of all, the Burr first B stands for buy, buying a property. R starts for do renovations on that property and another R stands for rent that property. Another R starts for refinance that property and last R starts for I have put a lot of inks because repeat repeat once you if you apply these three these four lines clearly then you're gonna have your money to repeat the process though that's the concept of a bird strategy and here is how i have done that so it's in uh, 2018 i purchased a, a duplex uh, it was a bank sale had a uh, some major issues in the basement and some you know need a tlc work and all so i looked at this property it was listed for 130 or something i bid it over bid it because there were like multiple offers um and I bid it for 141 or 142, I don't remember exactly. Um, and the numbers I have put in here is round figure numbers. I didn't, uh, I don't want to confuse you with, uh, you know, little decimals. I just made a round figure number, nearest round figure. So, you know, this distressed property, there was major issues. I went in with my inspector, uh, find out what exactly the issues were. I figured out that, you know, the water was coming out from the, um, you know, sewage uh, because there was no backwater wall and there is no sump pump in the basement. So the water, the basement, it was always wet. So that was the issue. Then I asked my contractors how much it would cost and all. And I figured out that this property, if I invest somewhere 40 to 50,000, it can have a good value. So that's what I, I, when I was looking at the property, that's what I figured out. So immediately I made an offer for 142,000 or 141 and I didn't get it for the first time. After I think a month, the previous offer was some other person's offer was accepted and they came back and said that previous offer was fell through. So would you be able to come back with the same offer? And I thought for a moment, the property is great, the bare bones are strong and the numbers work out. I said, yeah, sure, let's go for it. So I got it. After all closing and everything, the purchase price was 145,000. So just keep in mind, that's the point one. Burr, buy, buy, I purchased for 145. And point two, now I have to fix the property because the property needs some love and also need to be taken care of that fix. That was the problem of the property. So now I got my contractors in, we started work. Actually, we estimated for, you know, uh, 30 to 40,000, but we uh, a little bit over budgeted because of pinning down some other things in the property. You can check in my video, actually. Um, you will see what I have done in the video, but I almost invested uh, uh, 45,000 in renovations. So that's the second point renovated the property because it's, it's it was vacant and i added some love fixed the issues 
now we went in and rented out because at this point the property is at its best use because now i can get the top dollar i added the love and then the units are a lot better than previously so now i got for upper unit thousand dollars plus utilities and the main floor 1300 plus utilities so 2300 so after renting out after a month i after a month or so i went to the bank because till then i haven't involved the bank i did not took a mortgage my investor gave me this cash but again some people do get the mortgage it, it, it could work either ways it's, it's up to you how to do it um, the reason i got all the cash because when you start and when you want to refinance within like three to six months generally banks are very suspicious they want to you know dig up every details when you just got a mortgage and when you're trying to refinance after six months they tend to be a little bit skeptic whereas i said okay i don't want to get the mortgage i'll just get the mortgage once i'm all done so buying renovated rented out and now i refinanced so at that point i went to the bank now i said hey look my property is now in a fantastic condition and here are the comparables here is what i think the value is i presented actually 275 or something because i don't want to tell them the, the exact value it's always bank come with a appraisal appraisers comes a little bit lower so i said the, i believe that the property value is at 275000 please give me a mortgage so they sent the appraisal out an appraisal came in looked at the whole property and they said hey you know what your property is valued at 250000 so that's what after repair value we have repaired the property that's why they call after repair value so the property came at 250000 now of course bank doesn't give me 100% they only lend me 80% of the loan value so what was my Loan val uh, value is 250,000. What's my 80% of 250,000? Which is 200,000. So, how much did I invest into the property? 145 plus 45, which is 190,000. 190, how much I got from the bank? 200,000, which means I got all my money back. I mean, my investor's money plus an extra 10,000 now what we can do go and buy uh, one more property and that's what I have done actually you can check that video we purchased another property for 200,000 again doing the same bird strategy that's actually in the process right now it's it I'm gonna release the second part for that video pretty soon but you can check out that repeat process that's when you make money repeat the process don't go now you have the money and don't go and buy bmw car now you lost the money you want to repeat so if you want to grow in life if you want to make a best life then here is the secret i learned from reading books and from other you know successful people at the early stage of investing make money and reinvest make money and reinvest until you know that certain point where you will never ever your well won't be dried up what i mean by that you you pretty much doesn't matter if you if you have like 50 properties even if five properties are vacant still you will survive from that cash flow so that's when you can start living that's when you can start buying a dream home that's when you can start buying a dream car uh, whatever you want start living the life at that point that's what i'm doing right now i'm still living in a house at 300,000 property but i still have a tenant in the basement so that's the um, you know the the secret to become rich and successful and happy person because you need to never have a cash problem and that's why i'm here to teach you that to help you make your life better so i hope i provided some value if you if you feel that let me know in the comments below and if if you have already applied let me know that in the comments below if you still did not understand still let me know in the comments below because i can do my best to make you understand and make you make money with that thank you so much have a wonderful day if you're watching in the daytime